let's now understand what is instance server so as we saw in the last video when these two users want to connect with each other in the second step they were exchanging some kind of information about their browser or their internet connection okay and we called it sgp information and ice candidates now to exchange this information first they need to have it and for that they are going to utilize something called instant server okay so when these two users are going to connect with each other they will be first of all fetching the information that they need to exchange okay from the stun server and that is transferred between these two users using the signaling server that we understood in the last video so let's now summarize this you can see stun server is going to help us to determine the public ip address of our computer and also it's going to help us to assess the network conditions and based on that it is going to tell us what are the different ways in which the two browsers can join with each other okay and this is a very important step in webrtc connection and it becomes even more important when the two computers that we are going to connect with are using some kind of firewall or they are behind some net and you can see as i have written over here the information that is obtained from the system server and exchange between the two users that will be used to optimize the direct communication setup between devices and what i mean by this that there can be multiple ways to connect okay so this stun server is going to tell us all the possible ways in which the two devices can communicate with each other and then when both the browsers share their information with each other then they are going to agree upon one method okay and that will be the most optimized manner in which they will be connecting so that is what is the importance of stun server inside our application 